In this tutorial, I want to show you a, a simple sky replacement technique that uses the magic wand. And I'm using Photoshop Elements 9. This technique works in most versions of Photoshop and most versions of Photoshop Elements. So what you do is you hold the Shift key down. The Shift key allows you to keep adding to selections. And I have the default tolerance set here at 32. I, I just didn't do anything with that. Select the magic wand. You start clicking in and with the shift key down, keep selecting uh, these areas and um, get as many as we can here. We'll get this whole this whole sky area. Uh, selected and we just have to keep selecting on these to get them okay I think we have them there pretty much all of them now you'll notice there are still areas around here uh, the lacy areas down below that are not selected the way we get those easily as you go up into here select and say select similar now in Photoshop uh, the, the full version this is a color range selection but in Photoshop elements you just call it similar and you don't get a control exactly what colors are so we still have the the shift key down and we select similar and you so you can see it's selected all these areas we want um, to get but it's also selected a bunch of other ones but those are going to be pretty easy to get rid of the next step is we go into select and we invert the selection so now we have everything but the sky selected uh, we go down here and you, if you hover over this um, icon at the bottom of the layers palette with a circle in it it says create layers max so you click that and it uses the selection to create a layers mask. Um, now to see exactly what, uh, how good we are selection, I've got a sky here. So if I move this sky up into the upper portion, and I have to say unconstrain the proportions, and I, all I need to do is move it across the uh, the area that just covers how far the sky goes it down about to there uh, click the uh, green check and then move make sure the sky layer is underneath the layer mask in the home and so you see that now the the sky shows through there looks pretty good except we've got areas here in this tree that uh, it had knocked out that we don't want to show. Now the, the way we get rid of that is that w the way a layer mask works, if you go click on the layer mask, make sure you've clicked on it, that if you paint on that layer mask in white, um, it will prevent things from showing through if you paint on that layer mask with black it will let things show through so we've I've selected down here white and I've selected the paintbrush and I'm gonna go paint on this area where that is showing through where I don't want it to and that just goes away um, so that's not too big a problem And down here showing through and and you can see from this layer mask all those little grayish areas there's a whole ton of them uh, down here in the grass and all over if you, if, you, if you paint on that layer mask with white all those things go away and so we that works pretty good now if this turns out that the sky is not exactly the color you want or it's um, it's too light or too dark you can go you can go click on that sky and go up and uh, put a, an adjustment layer in there 
say a hue and saturation if you want to change the hue or saturation or levels if for light and dark you cl you click that and it will put an adjustment layer in there which allows you to uh, kind of fool around with the color and so make it so it looks consistent with with the photo so that's that's pretty much done the other thing I wanted to, to do is I wanted to show you another example this is a more difficult one uh, even though it may not look that way but if if we try to do our technique on this if holding the shift key down uh, going up here with the magic wand tool clicking in the sky um, with a few clicks we get most of the sky and then if we do our uh, select similar thing um, it, it gets the similar selects the similar areas but the woodwork here in this case is similar and we want to get rid of it so what we do is with the magic wand we we press the alt key or on the Mac the option key and so that turns it into everything we click now with the magic wand is going to remove that selection so if we go up here and click in these areas that we we don't want to have uh, we can pretty quickly get rid of those um, so now if we do our our invert oops I need to select inverse uh, add layer mask and if we put our sky up here just to see how it it looks you'll see there's still some problems that we have a hard time getting rid of unconstrained proportions move that sky across there put the sky underneath now you'll see these areas oh, of course the chimney we have to uh, paint on white with layer with a layer mask to fix that but these areas with the uh, um, with these poplar tr trees are uh, very difficult to select and I have it a technique that uses blue channels doesn't work with Photoshop elements but it's a tutorial that if you have Photoshop it shows you how to do this um, and select them my inclination uh, with um, with this if I were just using if our limiting was limited to the Photoshop elements is I just go in there and erase those trees I mean it's not much of a big deal to just get rid of those only somebody that lives there is going to know that they're missing and uh, and that way you still got pretty much the rest of it so now th that's this technique